In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create super smooth slow motion in Adobe Premiere Pro. So the first thing we wanna do is head over to our effects folder and in the time folder of the video effects, we're gonna find the time warp effect. Now, if you're using an older version of Adobe Premiere Pro, you might not see this. This is recently added in newer versions. It used to only be the echo and posterized time effects in here. But if you are in a newer version, you have the time warp effect and you can click and drag that onto any clip and it'll show up in your effect controls panel. So one tip I would give you is, you know, if you're, if you're playing your clip, you can go through and let's say right here when his foot lands or whatever's happening in your clip, you can cut at that point. So I can grab my razor tool with the shortcut C. I can cut at that point and then, you know, the clip on the left will be normal and then we can add the time warp when we want to begin jumping into that super slow motion. So you can do it on the whole clip or you can cut at the point that you want to begin doing it. Now, the time warp effect in the effects control panel has a few options. One important one is the method. By default, it's pixel motion, but I would also suggest you, if you're having trouble with pixel motion, you can try frame mix. Uh, that might give you more consistent, smooth results, but sometimes pixel motion can look more blended. But at default, it starts at 50% speed or 50 strength speed. You can think of it as percentages. And if we take this 50 speed, that'll be half. But if we want to get a super dramatic effect, we can go anywhere from like 10 to 25%. So let's do like 20. And this is a intense effect. So you'll see this red line start to pop up on your timeline. Uh, one thing you can do to preview this effect is press I on your keyboard to create an in point and then O you can create an out point on your timeline and then press the return key and that'll start rendering your files uh, giving you a render preview so you can play it back smoothly and see what you're doing. So now you can see there's a green bar and it can start playing back smoothly and this is an effect that was previously only available in After Effects but now it's in Premiere Pro. So you can see it's blending the frames together rather than just stretching them out and, and it's creating a super smooth slow motion effect. Now you have to remember if you start doing the slow motion effect, you're not going to be able to play all the way to the end of your clip because it's, you're only going to get 20% of your clip will play through. So remember that if there's something that you want to happen. And also just to show you the difference, if I were to take the speed and duration right, by right clicking on it and going to speed duration and just change it to 20%, so this is like a normal slow motion. You see it's a lot more choppy. We have, you can visually see the frames cutting to each other. So the difference between this and what the time warp is doing is it's actually warping in new frames and creating a smooth effect. Even if you didn't shoot in super high frames per second, if you do have trouble with the pixel motion effect, it, if it looks like really glitchy, try the frame mix effect. That's an, another way it'll just sort of blend the frames together one by one. Um, it doesn't, it sometimes can look not as smooth, but it's another option for you if you're playing, depending on what speed you're playing at. And you also have other options in here in the time warp. So you can go in there and you can adjust all of these options about the fine tuning, the smoothing, and even enabling motion blur. But remember, you don't want to make this effect too heavy on your clip. If you enjoyed this video, you can learn about all the other effects and more on my channel. So subscribe to stay tuned for all of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Justin Odisho, and I'll see you in the next video.